Or is Private that also lost? Remaining. I think it's because you had to move down a channel. Oh, wow. So difficult. <laughs> I know. Oh, Chibate Mail has clicked on the crown. Nice. I mean, what Veteran said is true. It's like a team effort, the drafting, but still the person who's the captain has a little bit more say because he's in the yes. end got to click the hero, so. Yeah, that's what I always say. Yeah. Ten seconds remaining. So always a team effort, but a little bit more from the captain, I guess. So we'll see. Oh, Five Noodles is now taking the crown. Team ben. He stole the crown. Ben. There was an abdication. Wow, a bad and first ban instantly. The Kira as well, probably for Kinder Surprise. Yeah, but I think Kinder Surprise might get Shaman this game. Okay, is that his other sort of? I think so. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Five seconds remaining. Radiant Team Ben. Team pick. So Drow's been banned very early on. Banning Drow oh. in phase one is interesting. I guess they're worried about Venge Drow, but it's pretty yeah, early maybe. to ban Drow. Here comes the ET pick. <gasps> First pick. <laughs> yeah, probably. I mean, Brex may have thought about playing remaining. in pos one, but he still ended up having just the same impact in pos three. So Five seconds remaining. I reckon you could pick all the time pretty early and get away with it. Radiant team pick. Warlock. Oh! That to me says Spectre is also, you know, on the way. Mm, like team fight, uh, team fighty stuff because maybe yeah. Fatal Bonds. Yeah, exactly. Fatal Bond, Spectre, and the Warlock are. Uh, also, Warlock, Spectre have a great lane because you just continually shadow word the Spectre, just keep her alive. Ten seconds remaining. Yeah. I wonder yeah, if Ollie's going to play pick. Enigma because the times mm. that he's played Enigma haven't been on the st on, like casting. Yeah. Ollie's done well at Enigma. He knows how to play the hero pretty well. Lich, interesting pick. Good support. Fair enough. Works in most lineups. Ten seconds remaining. Sinister Gaze was a really nice addition to Lich because now he has some Five lockdown that's not just slow. Yeah, he's got three slows and a stun. <laughs> so Lich has got a lot of crowd control. Radiant team pick. Mars. Oh. Okay, Tim Mars. The return. I mean, that's a pretty good combo anyway, isn't it? Put them all in the arena, fatal bonds, drop the golem on their head. Yeah, good team fight. I like it. Now, Ten I'm not sure about remaining. Mars Arena. It blocks projectiles, doesn't it? Does that include spells? Like, will a Marana arrow Five hit the, remaining. the edge of the wall? Dire team band. Uh, it goes through. It just auto attacks. I don't know. I think, I think it... Hmm. Very good. I'm not sure about that. Now, Io is a very interesting pick because picking Lich and Io basically says we've picked both of our supports now, unless remaining. we're going to see one of these famous mid or offlane Io's, which Five can work remaining. if you really know what you're doing. Radiant you know, Io with a heart and satanic and weird stuff like that can actually be really effective. Or even Helm with the Dominator and you just become your own hero. You don't need to tether to your team anymore. So we'll see. Who's the Radiant West player, though? Mm. Maybe it's Beep. Ten seconds remaining. It could be Beep. It, Juju's usually mid. Noodles Five is a support remaining. player, but I'm not sure he plays Io. Debate Mail has played a lot of different things. He did a really good Dark Willow. We've also seen him in some other roles, too. I think you need to be banning Spectre if you're the Radiant. I don't think you can let them have it when they've got Warlock and Mars. There's just way too much team fight, too much synergy. Need to ban Dyer, some team, team fight heroes. Ban. And they've banned Legion. Radiant uh, team the ban. new guy, Beep, he is Ancient 1. So what's that, 4k? Dyer, just under 4k, ban. I think. Um, 3.8 maybe. 3.9. <laughs> Something like that, let's just say it is. Yeah, around there. Faces Void banned, so they're banning the heroes that were in the last game. Faces Ten Void and Legion both being banned. Are you just going to ban out the winning team? Is that how you win? <laughs> just ban all five heroes that were picked last. Seconds remaining. I still want to see a Spectre Radiant ban from the Radiant. 
I feel like if you let them have Warlock Spectre, it's just a hard combo to deal with. Fatal Bonds and Spectre are, is a massive pain, unless they're planning to pick Wisp Spectre, but I'm not sure that's really that good a combo. Or maybe I've overestimated the Spectre completely, and it won't be picked by either team. Dire team pick. Us, okay. <laughs> oh. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, keep people alive if they're caught in the arena. Snowball them. Uh, with Io, that could be quite aggressive if you wanted to. Io Tusk. You know, go around ganking, relocate the tusk in, just punch someone. Mm, yeah. <laughs> You've yeah, got tag team as well. Yeah, that's good. Five seconds remaining. I don't know. I think it could work. I'm optimistic. Radiant team pick. Snap fire. Okay. So to that's go in the arena. Yeah, just fire the Mortimer's kisses into the arena. Do a lot of damage. Um, maybe they go for a red team because die is red. Your red team versus what blue team? <laughs> like, it's like <laughs> <Yes>. TF2. <laughs> Ten seconds remaining. Oh yeah. Okay, fair enough. Five seconds remaining. See if they can keep the theme up. Dire team pick. Sven. Mm, okay. I mean, Sven's, Sven's blue. Until he presses his ult, then he becomes a traitor and joins the red team. Yes. It auto balance on TF2. Auto <laughs> Teams are being scrambled. Imagine that happened in the middle of a Dota 2 game. <laughs> oh my god. That <laughs> just was scramble just all the heroes. <laughs> oh my god. That would be really funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing really, really well on anti mage. Nope, sorry. You're on the other oh team. My god. Oh. It's like, it's the worst when you're winning a game and you're just about to win and it auto balances you to the losing team. And it's like, are you joking? Like, I've made their team win and now I have to lose. Yeah. Oh. Uh, that's tilting. That is tilting. I really hate. I rather they just let one team stomp and then reshuffle after the round. Like mid game is is awful. Dire team Another red hero? Nope. Phantom Assassin. Bit blue and sort of, yes, dark blue, sort of grey. Phantom Assassin. Okay, Phantom Assassin versus Sven is interesting because you can blur his um his stun, so that works. You've got a lot of built-in evasion, which means Sven will need to consider a Monkey King bar Ten at some point, which isn't a usual item, Sven. He wants to have Daedalus, he wants to have Agams, he wants to have BKB, Mask Five of Madness, Echo remaining. Saber. He's got to slot in an MKB in there. Um, and you're ben. easily going to kill Io and Lich. So, yeah. I like Dire PA. I still would have thought you could get away with Spectre, but... That's what they've chosen, so fair enough. Radiant team ban. Very fast bans now. This is a much faster draft. We've hardly used any reserve time, like oh, half a minute of reserve time combined. So the players clearly know what they want, basically. Yeah. Which is good. Um... Ten seconds remaining. Running out of time. Ah, oh, for Five the normal time. Still got remaining. two minutes reserve time. <laughs> They can think long and hard about this ban if they need to. They don't need to. They just uh, go for Magnus. They ban the mag, Which yeah. makes sense, because PA. Yeah, really good yeah. combo. Right, last pick. They might need a mid hero. So I think both teams have left mid till last, as always. Sven Io is a good lane combo. I think Tusk Lich is pretty good too. So just need some strong mids to sort of Ten round it all off. I think any mid can work here. I mean, we might see a Void Spirit. Uh, I'm trying to think what else remaining. is a really popular mid hero. Queen of Pain works, I think, for the Radiant. I think it's quite good. I mean, Dyer don't have a lot of lockdown. You've got Cookie, a bit unreliable. Spear, unreliable. Warlock Ult, very long mm -hmm. cooldown. PA, nothing. Would it look like the classic Ollie Kunker or something? I feel like Kunker like... would... Oh, yeah. Dyer could go Kunker. Yeah. Awesome. I mean, Radiant don't have a ton of lockdown either. They are relying on the Sven stun. I guess Tusk has a little bit too. Snowball and Warus Punch. I feel like the high mobility mids might work here. You could even go Ember mm. Spirit, Void Spirit, Storm Spirit, Earth Spirit. Storm's banned. Storm is banned. Okay, can't do that spirit. The other spirits. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think what else could be really good here. Zeus is banned. I would have liked Zeus. Um, yeah, I'd be tempted for Void Spirit, I think. But I just like him. Or Queen of Pain. I feel like um, Radiant could be going Queen Radiant of Pain. Team pick. Death Prophet. Okay, I did talk about Death Prophet last game. I was thinking about Death Prophet. You are against some strength heroes. Uh, but got to be careful because you can get picked off by some of those heroes. Okay, Death Prophet's pretty good. You know, Arena gets used. 
Warlock puts the ult down, you just press Exorcism and just run around. Ten seconds remaining. Now you've got to deal with Death Prophet and with Phantom Assassin. Five seconds remaining. I still think Queen of Pain can work here. Or Void Spirit. Those would be my two. They're just my two favourite heroes, so... <laughs> Not so exciting. We'll see. They're really using their reserve time now. Thinking about their very, very, yeah. very final pick. Dyer took a bit of their reserve time as well. It seems that we know what we want with supports pretty early, and we're getting better at knowing what calls we want, but when it comes to mids, we just have no clue. I think it's because mids are... There's a reason why it's always, like, last picked, I guess. But it's quite an important... Yeah, it is important. You are right, role. yeah. Because um, I think, essentially... The last pick has to be good against, like, with your team that you can see the, all the draft with and the enemy team. Because you can see four of the five heroes. So I think that's why it takes a bit of thinking because you've got to think who is the best for, like... Yeah, true, true. All but the players. There's a lot to consider, yeah. Dyer have five BVGS guild players and they <laughs> only have two. Bit of a mixture here. This is more BVGS than we usually have. No hithers at all. I mean, I thought Royd signed up. There we go. There's the Queen of Pain. I did keep calling the Queen of Pain. And I thought it would be picked on the Radiant. So, yeah. I'm getting pretty good at my predictions. Um, Royd was part of BVGS, but when he went to uni, he joined their uni guild. And did he not sign up for today's in-house, though? And, oh, and right. Is that what you meant? Yes, yeah, he did. did he did, well. but they, they both unreact. Okay. Well, that's right. The hithers are still around. They're just doing something else, obviously. Still filled up the numbers, which is good. Who is AM dot believe? AM believe. Oh, it's a bait mail. Bait mail. We've got bounty hunter mid Drekken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Embracing the memes. I'm half dot the optimist. What earth is Ollie wearing? Look at this, like, actual veil. It's for Halloween. Like I really like the Queen of Pain pick because I like Queen of Pain. Where's Charlie? Get him back in here. <laughs> we at him. He's still around. He is, he is still oh, he watching. Is, yeah. Oh, there he is. <laughs> He's here. He's here for his queen. Prepare for battle. Yeah, standard build. I never got the Arcana in the end. Persona, whatever it is. All according but, to plan. But it looks good. You don't I'm, like I'm, it, don't you? It's alright. I think it looks good, but I just prefer the default one, like the blue skin. I, I guess you can get the blue alternative skin, but I don't know anyone who's got that apart from. Rhyme maybe, does. Maybe, yeah, apart from Rhyme. <laughs> He's like yeah. the only person I know who's bothered to get it because he farmed it proper hardcore when it came out. Like some people were farming the Wraith King as well. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen a Wind Ranger one yet. Though. I think that's way too many. Way too many. Is it like five million damage or something? I can't remember. I think it's like two and a half million. Oh, okay. Also Thirty seconds to battle. I doubled it for no reason. <laughs> That's why it sounded impossible. I like tag team, but I like the old tag, like the sigil. You know, the frozen sigil, which you could like oh, move yeah. around, like create that permanent slow, and you could scout with yeah. it. I felt like it was more fun. But tag team and it was, was just cosmetic better. Cosmetic as well. Yeah, true. Bre Brex on pause one. I didn't even pay attention to that. What is that boo? That's horrible. <laughs> the battle begins. Good. Absolutely Come horrible. On. Didn't even realise it was a boo. It was just, just screeching. Well, tag team slows every attack as well. Only for zero point four seconds. Well, Drakkon's done a lot of damage to Beep. You're right. Beep is the the wisp player. Debate mail. They're doing a lot of damage. <laughs> Horrible sound. <laughs> horrible, horrible sound. Brex is still being beaten on. They have another tag team. I think Brex is dead. I mean, what is with them killing now who the dire carries I mean, at the start of each game? Brex had the first blood last game, and now he got first blooded in exactly the same spot. Did you see how yeah. tight knit like Beep and Jabatemo were right next to each other and just two tag teams, and that's it? Had some kills. 
very aggressive bot lane as well. Have a look at the mid lane. Noodles versus Ollie. Now, I've played this matchup a lot as well. Queen of Pain versus Death Prophet. Who does this favor? It's, I would say Queen of Pain, but it's close. I think Death Prophet has a chance to do well, but I think it's still favored for the Queen of Pain. Well, I mean, if, if Ollie ends up Spirit Scything her, Quark can just blink away from it. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, Crypt Swarm is not quite as strong as Shadow Strike. So I think Queen of Pain has the advantage here, but Ollie is good at mid, so I think he'll be okay. Anyone will be okay, it will. Anyway. Sven's doing a lot of good last hitting. I like also Tusk in the pos 3. Because Tusk actually does scale with items fairly well just because of the Walrus Punch. As we know, Walrus Punch is a guaranteed 350% crit. And I think you can make it hit even harder at level 20. 430% crit. So it's like PA getting a crit, which you know hits pretty hard. But a guaranteed one. And they are fighting in the top lane. Fatal Bond's been used. We are going hard on Drekken. He is healing himself. I think Beat may go down first, or maybe not. Drekken's one hit away from death. Nope. But he'll keep himself alive. Oh. Rex does take down the Wisp. So it was basically a race. Which core could kill who first? Jebeam, well, he's taking so much damage. Look at the Fatal Bond damage. It's huge. The <laughs> Torn? <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Oh, okay. He's already got a I'm full wand. Good. I guess that makes sense when you're against uh, a Phantom Assassin, isn't it? Get that yep, one going. Yep. There's so much fighting in every lane. It's almost hard for me to keep track of it. Tim actually has the most last hits, 11 last hits already. Oh, I should have done a God's Rebuke there. Could have done a lot of damage. Nice pull from Veteran. <laughs> Gets a double God's Rebuke. Very big. Quite cheap amount of costs God's Rebuke, actually. I wonder if he'll get a second point in it at level 3, or he'll just level up Spear. We'll see. wonder which lane is going to have the next kill. We've already seen um, one kill from each side. Oh, I missed it. Wow. You, you were paying attention. Instantly. It was under the tower. And then also a kill on top. So he killed Drekken. So a kill each. We're two for two. Oh, our Brex are really being harassed out this lane. So it's 2-0 on Tusk, but we've got one kill on Brex, one kill on Tim. So there's the four kills. Ah, Super Nose is really struggling in mid against Ollie. I think the last is basically oh, oh, that instant south cancel war and the deny. Yeah. Brilliant play oh. by Ollie. But Ollie doesn't seem to have a bottle. Did he go for double null? Oh, he went double null. Going double null against Queen of Pain. Very risky. Whereas Noodles, is he going double null as well? He is. I feel like both these players have played incorrectly. And look, Ollie has oh, actually oh. won the lane. Top, we're having a bit of a dive. I mean, there's fights everywhere. I can't look at them all. Drekken, we're going to go for a dive. This is a lot of damage. God, the tag team is brutal. Bot lane, we seem to be okay. They're all pretty low. Yeah, it was almost. And mid lane, Noodles is in a lot of trouble. He denies the move. Oh, that's a Almost dies. Sends in another salve. Wow. I mean, see, I said Queen of Pain had the advantage. It's very close. I don't think going for the second null was clever. Whoa, he's just going straight into the high ground. Noodles realizes that, you know, he's stronger than Ollie. He's got rank three Shadow Strikes. He's really committing for this uh, for this lane, lane victory. Of course, Shadow Strike got nerfed a few times when Queen of Pain was too overpowered. They seem to find a kill in the bot lane. Now they're going to have to run. Whoa, Tim actually is going to find a kill. Who doesn't have any mana? Oh, no, he still gets the kill. Oh, good play by Tim. Great return kill. It's now four for three. Kills happening all around. Bounty two is up. Two minutes. I mean, two seconds. Two seconds, yeah. They're up. Tim's going for a soul ring, which he so what desperately needs. Got it. Beckon is actually farming the camp. Stacked down. Pop is, um, Pop is six and Ollie's still five. Oh, yeah, Ollie's quite far behind in XP here, actually. I don't know why that's. I mean, mid lane is really, really close. Super contested. But I don't feel like they both should have skipped bottle. And Ollie's actually going to get bottled quite a bit before Super Noodles is, though. Look, Super Noodles doesn't have much gold, only 400. Whereas Ollie now has the bottle. So Ollie got the bottle first, but. The first bottle in mid lane was at 5 minutes, 40 seconds. <laughs> Still hasn't even arrived. I mean, that's that's pretty late. I mean, that's way too late for a bottle. I think you should be getting bottle 
straight after the first Null Talisman. Especially if you're in a lane where you need to use your mana a lot. And Ollie is using it to farm, as you can see. Juju's doing really well on the Sven. Top CS in the game. Already by quite a bit. Seven denies. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. It has no arms to defend itself. Oh god, Ollie's got a regen. I wonder. Oh, lovely. If he'll try and push mid tower. Or... I think he should. He needs to push while while Noodles mm. is out the lane. Noodles does have a bottle as well, but Ollie with that regen room. I think Ollie's one mid lane. I mean, it's it's close. So we're like having a fight here. Oh. Nice use of the cookie. We've now got Little Shredder. Doesn't do very much damage to Little Shredder, but it's just enough. I mean, rank one Little Shredder is pretty pathetic, but it's enough to get a kill. <laughs> Good play by Veteran. It's now four for four. Very, very close early game. I think Radiant have the advantage just because Sven is doing so well. Yeah. And, you know, Noodles has done pretty well. It looked like he was struggling mid, but he really recovered. He was a whole, you know, um, item behind like about 300 gold behind in this bottle and yet now he's got the bottle and yes he's a little bit of gold behind but only only by a little bit ollie just showing off his regen rune another salves for the sven sven is going for mask of madness who's going for that standard farming build Oh, there was a kill. Another kill, but actually they've committed the arena and they killed Juju. I need to really be looking for these kills. I'm flicking between the lanes, but I never seem to stop on the lane with the kill. It's nice to kill a Sven that early. Already level 6 on Tim, though. I don't know how he managed that so early. And he has a full creep wave here. He's top net worth. Is he? Tim is doing so well in these early games. Brex is trying to get a kill on Beat. Beat does manage to find the creep wave, so he will escape. Now we're going in on Brex, but do we have the Warus Punch? No, we don't. Ice shards won't get the block. Tower is under but there's a TP in from Veteran. We're trying. Big heal from Beep. I think he might be okay. Are we going to be able to kill Brex? He's being healed. And now he's Radiance not going to die. Is under attack. Brex is kept alive by the Shadow Word. Which is only rank 1. It's rank 1 Shadow Very Word. Nice. And Ollie, he'll actually find a kill. We're still going on to bait now. Are we going to take him? We've got the upheaval. But unfortunately, rank 1 upheaval is just not going to do it. But um, somehow, Ollie managed to find a kill mid. Yeah. And now he has Exorcism ready for the tower. And he, I think, is under an Arcane Rune as well. So he I is, think yeah. Like Low cooldown ult. Oh dear. I mean, Ollie has 1,700 gold right now. Do Batemail finds a kill? He's still got Warus Punch. There's the Warus Punch. I think Batemail's going to go down. Nice use of the leap, but I think he's still going to go down. Will the creeps get the deny? They do. Oh, they so actually do. Wow, really good play there. Fantastic. And Noodles actually doesn't lose his tower. Ollie is level 9, has 1900 gold. What is he going to buy? He could buy the full phase boots. Instead, he's trying to get that Yules up, so he goes for the early staff of wizardry. The Dyer's top tower is doing its best. I think Yules is a sensible item to get against Quat. We're going in on Brex. Got the tag, tag team. Warus Punch does a lot of damage. Nope, Warus Punch is a cooldown. Brex can't escape. He has Blur. Punch. Can't hit him. Nice use of Blur. Brex actually manages to get out. Noodles is around. He's got his ult. He's wondering what he should do. I like how it's like <laughs> the team's hardly been in the lane, but they've been behind the tower. Oh, oh. oh okay. We do get the tower. Last really hit. What is going on under here? Nice use of the cookie. Double stun. I think this is too deep for the Radiant. But Noodles is here. Does get the ult. Hits both. But no kills just yet. I think Brex is going to go down. Mortimus kisses. That's doing a lot of damage to both of them. Great play by Brex. That's actually going to get Noodles and Jabatemail. Okay, Jabatemail dodges with the Scatter Blast. Doesn't have Warus Punch. Please say he doesn't actually get the kill there. That would be very sad. Double kill for Drekken. There was a lot of kills happening in the top lane. I think the biggest yeah. problem is you lost your mid laner. Like, um, Noodles died there. Let's have a look at the net worth. So Ollie is on top. top. He's done a really good job in this mid lane. Second is Tim. Tim has done so well in the early game in these last few games. Basically being on top net worth or at least second. My Pretty much every time. His axe was really good. His Mars is good. He's doing really well. He's just been left to it. He's going to probably take the tower end up. We're trying to go on Ollie, but he does have an illusion rune. Is he going to use it for bait? It's a little bit too late. No, he's going to be fine. Illusion rune. He's got spirit side. It's only rank one though. 
Oh, he's going to go down. This is not good. But we're going in on Tim. We've got four Radiant Heroes here. Out comes the Golem. It's huge Golem. In fact, everyone is here. The entire Radiant team are here. But I think the Dara are doing well. Juju's going to be able to escape. Oh my and Juju um, beat TP's out. Oh no, Juju's still here. He's going to go down. He's very low. Pops Mask of Madness. He's trying to kill Drekken. I don't think he will. The Golem gets the Golem. Drekken is now 5, 2, and 3. Damn, and that was the full Radiant team there. And thankfully, the Wisp managed to escape with his life. But uh, amazing Golem hit everyone. Mortimer's Kisses wasn't even up for that fight. And now the Radiant, they have a pretty strong advantage. Now, it's another situation of um, one of That's the cores having gold. a really bad early game. That core would be Brex, but thankfully his team are doing well. The only hero doing well on the Radiant team for the early game farm is Juji. But he's got a lot of work to do because Noodles is unfortunately pretty poor on Quop. He's only got Treads, whereas Ollie has the, almost the full Yules. You know, Ollie's build is really strange. I just want to point that out. Like, he's... He's maxed Silence instead of Spirit Siphon. That's not what you do when you play Death Prophet. Usually you max Spirit Siphon first, even. Yeah, but he didn't. He didn't do. He didn't put a level in it in lane when he was against the Quap. Probably because he realised that he could, he could probably blink out of it. So he just, so he just maxed Stuns if he can get a kill. World. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Attack. Interesting. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. in trouble. Ollie's not used to Silence yet. He's still got it. Now there's the big silence. And it lasts a very long time because early three points into silence. It's an interesting build. I like that Ollie's pushing the envelope a bit. Ollie finds a double kill. I think he's going to be fine. He's doing a lot of damage from Exorcism. How long has he got left before it comes back? Still 10 seconds. Nice done by Tim. God's rebuke. I think Ollie might be okay. Gets one more kill. He's got Yules. He can keep himself alive. He's got to be careful. Nice dodge. And the Exorcism's going to come heal him. Too late. Gets War Punch. Oh. Tim's going to go down as well. Nice tag, Tim. I mean, if, if Ollie survived, what, three more seconds? He actually would have been just fine because the Exorcism yeah. would have come in and healed him to full. So very aggressive there. Ollie does go down. And the oh, kill is would he, now. would he still have been okay if he just kept running rather than using his, using his Yules? Or I would don't he... know. I think the Ice Shards might have hit him. But we'll, I'm not sure. Hmm. They don't take the tower, which is the important thing. So that's good for the Radiant. <sighs> Dyer still have the lead at the moment. 4,000 gold. Radiant's and you can see it's mostly on Tim and Ollie. Ollie has a really big lead. But then Brex is a little bit behind the Sven. And also, you don't farm fast on a Phantom Assassin. Nowhere near as fast as a Mask of Madness Sven. So he's also got a Wisp buffing him, giving him even more attack speed. We've maxed the overcharge already. So that's 140 attack speed for 8 seconds. Kinder Surprise is in a little bit of trouble here. Do we have Cookie? We don't have Cookie. That's a blast. I don't think he's going down. You could pop Mortimer's Kisses. I don't think that's worth. This is a positive snap fire. We are going first item, Agonims. I mean, Agonims is just too good veteran. He is in the wrong neighborhood. Just getting killed by the tag team. Massive Boris Punch. Yes. Yeah, final oh. blow. It's going to take him a while to get this Ags then if he keeps dying. Yeah, a little bit tricky. He'll get it eventually. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. I feel sad for them. Oh, oh Tim's used the arena. I think I was in trouble. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of damage. Now we're chasing Jabate. No, we have Spirit Siphon, but it's only rank 1 Spirit Siphon, so it doesn't do a lot. The speed steal is also quite low. Only one bounce on the Lich Yeah, that happened to his previous Lich Hulk as well. Only one bounce. Very nice use of, of Snowball. I think he might be in trouble. He's fairly fast. Spear does connect, just doing a little bit of damage. Out comes the defensive frost shield. He's going to be just fine. Creates a little barrier anyway. Invisibility. Invisibility used by Noodles. What is he going for? He's also going for Yules, but he's quite far behind Darling. Oh, actually finds a kill on Brex. Nice play by Noodles. Getting a solo kill on their pos one. So that is exactly is what you want to be aiming for at this point Radiant in the game. Tower has fallen. Delaying the, in love. Uh, what's it called, Desolator even more. For the dead. Let's have a look at the KDAs. 5-1 on the Tusk. 5-2 on the Warlock. 4-2 on Death Prophet. 4-4 on Snapfire. Ollie, again, leading the way to come to net worth. He is now used his ultimate. It is rank 2. So it's quite a lot strong. In fact, it doubles in strength. 
second rank of the Dyer's middle tower is all alone in the world. Beam, a Radiant's bottom tower has seen better days. They're backing off. There was a TP in. Ollie is pretty low. He's got to be careful. Nice. You'll stun. Out comes more. It's doing a lot of damage. If they can't kill Ollie, this is going to be trouble. Out comes the Warlock ult as well. This is just a slaughter. Juju's going to go down. Unstoppable kill streaks for Drekken. Now we've seen Queen of Pain. Nice Lich ult. Bouncing back. Veteran may die. Yeah, he gets hit by three bounces. Very, very unlucky. Tim gets hit as well. This is a massive Lich ult. Who does will find the kill? Bit of a turnaround. And Ollie just gets a right click kill. So Noodles is the only person alive, and Dyer still have three heroes alive. And of course, they have Brex who was just farming the whole time. So a bit of space created. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. I feel Noodles sad for got Drekken's six times kill streak. Oh wow, six times kill streak. Five hundred gold for the Queen of Pain. That's nice. So he's also got yours. Super Noodles has yours. Yeah, Beep's trying to farm the golem. The golem's going to die in four seconds, so I think it's going to be fine. It's got 25 health regen. Oh, no. Debate mode definitely gone. Another kill for the Dyer. Dyer are definitely winning these team fights. Yes. It's not surprising, though, because they've got, like, a Mars Warlock. Snap fire. You yeah, they've got a massive early. team fight. It's the it's the Mortimus Kisses arena. It's just doing so much work. And then drop the Golem on top. Golem has a very long cooldown. It's nearly three minutes. Probably one of the longest cooldowns in the game. We found Noodles. We're not going to find... He's going to get out, right? Of course he is. Oh, we actually used the arena. Spear was a little bit early. We forgot that he had yours. And he's got Blink again. Nice use of stun. Whoa, that heal was oh. massive. Well, here, Noodles actually turns around. He's still got Blink, so he's willing to fight. Out comes the stun. Noodles blinks forwards. Very aggressive. Can we kill Tim? I'd hope so. Yes, we are going to get Tim. Now we're going to right click Veteran to death. There's no way he's escaping from this. Yeah, he'll go down. So the Radiant are definitely losing the game at the moment, but they're pretty good at finding kills. I mean, look at the, the net worth on, on Noodles. Just gone up and up and up. He is going for Orchid. Bit of a late Orchid, but still wants to get it. They now have taken the mid tower, so giving him a little bit more map control. Oh, I reckon you are in trouble. And Drekken will be brought down. Wow, Radiant just on a pain train. Running around getting kills. Are they going to kill Brex as well? Oh, they definitely are. Brex is trying to dodge it. Still has Blur. Going to use it. Doesn't last very long, though. Sinister Gaze? Oh, only just got the mana for it. The Brex will live. What are the Radiant trying to do? They've got Jabate Mill in the bot lane, but he's not the greatest hero for farming waves. Dyer's middle tower is all alone in the world, being attacked. Yes. It's that thing where if nobody's in a lane, just go to that lane and farm it. Yeah, free gold. Why not? Ring of a killer. Very nice. So that's all of the neutral items for the Radiant. Still finding a few on the Dire. Essence Ring. That's pretty good for Ollie. He could do with the extra bit of tankiness so they can't burst him. I'm trying to think about who's got the better late game, but it's hard to say because Dire have so much team fight, but then Radiant do have Sven. And Sven is, mm -hmm. you know, insane in the late game. And Wisp heal is really good, as we saw. When oh yeah, Wisp's got some good talents for the late game as well. Ah, oh, Brex thinks he's farming invis. We found him. Oh no, Brex, you are definitely dead. 60 second corner. I'm actually just going to pop the quap ult. Go full in for the kill. Beep finds the kill on the Wisp. It's another kill on Brex, though. Delaying their pos one's time even more. Do I have a bit of a smoke going on? Ollie yeah. doesn't have max rank ultimate just yet. But nevertheless, he will oh, be pushing. Jibitville. I think he's okay. I think he's all right. Yeah. I mean, Tim doesn't have blink yet because he went early Vlads. Oh, yep. Does get Kinder oh. Surprise. I think Kinder Surprise is dead. They're actually going to drop Arena just for Kinder Surprise. Missed the spear. Oh, spear. And oh, here comes the Lich doing a lot of damage. Just bouncing between the camp. Drakendo has the Glimmer Capes, he might be alright. Ollie's dropped his ult now. 
He is just chasing Kinder Surprise. Kinder Surprise is definitely going down. And Ollie still got his ult up. Really nice use of the uh, of the upheaval. Just keeping Jabatemar completely in place. Cookie Ollie forwards. Jabatemar's going to go down. But has himself alive. Not quite enough. Double kill. Always a lot of heroes missing from the fights. Both pos ones aren't here. Now Ollie has his ult still up. Tiny bit more push, and he'll be able to take the tower. That's not a typical pos one. <laughs> True, but, but I mean the Pos ones have been farming a lot this game. Has seen days. Which one is more online? We've got Desolator and a bit of BKB. And I would say Yeah, he's nearly got the full Ags. I bet he'll fight as soon as Ags is ready. Is oh attack. yeah. Oh, Alright, and here goes the first tier 2 tower of the game. Radiant's bottom tower was always the weakest tower. Get the out, Paul. They did. Not. They do have the ability to take the outpost, but they've decided yeah, now. Yeah, they're not, yeah. I guess it's not because it's, maybe it's because it's not close to a time where it's effective. Yeah, I think... But the vision's nice. Okay, okay no, Tim's going to take it. I think you might as well take it because then they have to take it back. And it denies them yeah. TPing to it, so... A little yes. bit more map control. Oh, Ags is out on set now. Can that turn the tide of the fights? It's a very, very, very strong Agnums, and he does have Dispel. Oh, uh, we don't have Noodles, so Noodles is pretty strong. He's also got the full Orchid on the Courier. I don't think you want to fight without him. You can think about it, but I don't think you should. What's going to happen? All the heroes are kind of around. Middle tower is Fight's it's definitely going to break everyone. out. Yeah, yeah, everyone everyone is here. Out comes the arena. We're going on Juju. Pop the Mortimus Kisses. Doing a lot of damage. Out comes the Golem. We've got a lot of signs. Oh, they just have a wombo combo. Nice heal from Beat, but I don't think it's enough. He's running away. Will Juju make it out? Gets used by Oi just to hold him in place. I think he does make it out. In fact, from all of that, they only find one kill. Radius Noodles manages to blink out as well. Attack. And he's going to blink again. So they just found the Lich, nothing else. I think that's probably the best the Radiant could have hoped for at that point, only yes. using Kinder Surprise. They didn't even have to commit any ultimates. <laughs> They've got all five ultimates still. And they have dropped the Golem. They've dropped Mortimus Kisses. So the Radiant have this small window now. If they want to smoke in and fight, they've got the best opportunity to. Well, Wiz does have a smoke on him. Does he? Okay. Will he use it though? Juju's around. He's got his ult. He pops the ult. He goes straight in on Veteran. Nice use from Ollie, keeping him up. Then he gets speared as well. <laughs> but the stun still has a long cooldown at the moment. Oh, he breaks. He what? breaks his glimmer, but then he gets another glimmer. Oh my god, does he actually get out? No, they've turned around. We, they are going to find the kill on him with the Warus Punch. And they'll find another kill. This is good for the there Radiant. Also found a Courier. Mm -hmm. Just had some wards on it. In the making of this battle. It's very back and forth. Like It looks like the Dyer are clearly winning the fights, but then the Radiant managed to find some kills. But then the Dyer are winning the fights, but then the Radiant finds some kills. Yes. It's just so back and forth. I mean, the net worth is unbelievably close at this point. Only 2k in it. Only 4 kills as well. Sven has finally oh, hit top net worth. And I think he's just going to become more and more scary. Soon he's going to have minus 5 second Stormhammer cooldown. That's a really good time. Look at the range he can go on Ollie. I Immediately dispel it. the Yules. Pop the ult onto Ollie as well. Warus Punch. Yep, there it is. Ollie even used his BKB. He went straight yeah, BKB after Yules. It still wasn't enough to save him. I mean, welcome to Sven, right? And also, Warus Punch goes through BKB. So does Quapo. Yeah. So they had a lot of damage to go straight through the BKB. Oh dear. It is looking good for the Radiant now. Ayo's got a ghost scepter. They are running straight to the high ground. It has no arms to defend itself. Do they really want this? They're gonna try. Arena's up. Tim is used the arena, gets three in it. Mortimus gets his arena. This is a lot of damage. This is what I mean about the ultimates. Noodles is trying to do what he can. I think Ayo's gonna die, maybe not. Out comes the Lich ult. Juju, he's low. Finally gonna die to the tower. Upheaval's doing a lot of work. Gonna find another kill. Oh, the Lich inside the base. Lich ult is just deleting oh. heroes. Actually ends up killing Brex. But I think Kinder Surprise is going to go down. It doesn't have the mana for Glimmer Cape. Noodles does manage to live. But yeah, Kinder Surprise is dead. So it's it's definitely Dota Tennis at this point. And yes, they do kill the Poz one, which is Brex. But uh, they wipe the rest of the team. Except Noodles, who manages to get out because he's Queen of Pain. 
thinking maybe it was a bit ambitious to try for high ground. Maybe they should have went through maybe a different lane or Roshan or something. I don't know. They didn't even damage the tower. So, yeah, you're right. Maybe, I mean, yeah. look how many other towers are on the map. There's three towers that are outside the tier 3s. And yet they decided, now nah, we want the high ground. It, yeah, I know. It's like, quite ambitious. Got it. Also, um, it's just the arena plus Mortimer's Kisses. It pretty much kills the entire enemy team. Let's have a look at hero levels. Ollie on top, but Noodles is close behind. The main thing is we've got that rank 3 Sonic Wave, so we're doing quite a lot of damage. 610 pure damage. It hits hard. Mars picking up that 6 armor talent. Making himself a little bit more durable. What's Jabatemail got? Jabatemail has a Desolator. So he's hitting hard on this task. Veteran just walks behind the entire enemy team. Do they not realize he's there? Interesting. A very interesting maneuver. We do have Gobble up ready. Who are you gobbling up? Tim, probably, right? Just throw yeah, Tim in. Yeah, Tim. Could throw Ollie in, even. Could Ollie can exorcism and eat him up? And just throw him in. <laughs> that also is a good idea. Well, we'll see. Did you know that if there's a Sapphire with Ag and a Pango, you can eat the ball? Can you? Spit out the ball, yeah. That's amazing. That's so good. I didn't know that. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's gods, so funny. Like, I've seen it Just eat a ball. <laughs> yeah, because um, Rhyme did it um, with someone in our sack. Oh, you just going in on Ollie. Ollie pops the BKB very early, though. Oh, there's the gobble up. Here comes the arena. Mortimus gets... It's just... Oh, this is everyone's dead. Yes, the Quapot goes in, but it's too late. I mean, that was the quickest set of four kills I've ever seen. It was like... Yeah, me too. One second. Just... That was crazy, man. That was absolutely crazy. Well, there you go. And now you've still got Exorcism up to take the tower. I mean, that's it. Gobble up, spit them in, arena, use the Mortimus Kisses, drop the Golem. Oh my god, it's it's brutal. Absolutely brutal. And Ollie used an Arcane Room for his ult. His ult's up again in 60 seconds. They could either use it for Roche, they could just try and siege the high ground. I'm not sure they're going to get any buybacks off this. It's 23 to 33. Dyer do have an advantage. They've also still got the Golem. Golem hits pretty hard. They've got Desolator and Lil Shredder. So the tower's got basically no armor whatsoever. It's going to go down. Top are under attack. Yes, in yeah, they're still committing. Gods, the they're going to take the rain tracks first because they know rain tracks is easy to take. Oh, now they're going in. They know there are no ults. Juju's still got his ult. But they don't go in. They got Super Noodles doing a little bit of split pushing, so fair enough. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Ollie has TP'd back, so Noodles has to go back as well. I love how Snapfire only has mana boots and an axe and then four empty slots. Yeah, I feel like he should just buy some branches or something. I mean, he's a support, right? Get some dust, some yeah. smoke, some wards, some yeah. sentries. Yeah, no, not when your warlock's got four wards and four observers. Please. True, get some dust then, I don't know. Get, get something. Do you even need <laughs> dust? Yeah, there is get a glimmer cape. Where, yeah, a get a, even a stick, honestly. Axe out on warlock there. I mean, interestingly enough, the Dyer seem to be winning. They've taken Rax, and they're winning the team fights quite comfortably. But both top net worth slots don't belong to the Dyer. Yeah. It's actually the Radiant own both of them. Have you noticed yeah, how much money that. Warlock has? <laughs> it's insane. This guy's a pos four. Even Snapfire, like the supports have been doing so much damage and getting kills in the team fight that they have a lot of gold. I mean, veterans going. Veterans going Lotus Orb. And yes, Drekken does have Philosopher's Stone. He's got Agnums on Warlock. You've got Ags on Warlock and yeah. Ags on Snapfire at 30 minutes. I mean, that is good. Because Ags Warlock well, makes the Golem stun 1.4 seconds instead of 1. So that adds even more stun and more damage. Because the Golems well, are powerful. If you think that team fight up top was quick with four people dead, just imagine what it would be like now. Even quicker. <sighs> yeah, I mean, Sven does have his BKB. You know, he's level 18, so he's got the maximum God Strength damage. But it's... It's hard for them to win a team fight. There's just way too much crowd control basically coming out from the dire. It's still anyone's game. 
The Radiant have shown that they can win fights, but Brex is slowly but surely getting more items. And you know, level 18 Phantom Assassin, that's where the damage really starts coming out. 450% crits. Radiant are pushing a tower though, they're being very aggressive. But here come the Dyer. Noodles has broken it. Ollie is just the running in. Pops exits his own. He's all ready to go in. Oh, there comes the Gobble up into the arena. Gets the stun onto Lich. Mortimus kisses. Juju's trying to do what he can. Out comes the Golem. There is no chance. Oh, nice ult though. Doing a lot of damage from the Queen of Pain. Juju's trying to do what he can, but he's just being kited. Rex is now going to go back in. And it's just all over for the Dyer. They've got no hope. Nice spear. And that is a full team wipe. Some heroes that very low. Bad. Look how low three of the heroes are. Ollie on 500 HP, Snapfire 200, Brex on 500, but it doesn't matter. They're all dead. Yeah. I think because the Quop and the Tusk were going on the Snapfire, but Quop left, assuming that probably Tusk could finish Snapfire off, but no, Snapfire got the Tusk instead, so Snap lived. It's just so quick, the fights. And, I mean, Ollie's yeah. also got a craggy coat, which is amazing. 12 more armor for the Death Prophet. Mm. So he can really tank up against the Sven this early in the game. He's also got a plate mail. Now he's got the full Sheevers. So he is very durable against physical damage. He's got the 400 health talent. I mean, gobble up on Tim. It's just it's so much damage. 400 damage is gobble up, and then there's 100 damage a second underneath. So it just gets worse. What did Tim get? Fear of Mars stun. That's a really powerful talent. Makes it 3.6 second stun. He's even got a spirit vessel. They've got spirit vessel and they've got Shiva's guard. So they're really trying to cut down the healing that this can do. Which I think is very intelligent. They don't have ult up yet. No god strength. No queen of pain or either. They are going to take the last tier 2 tower pretty comfortably. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. That's not gonna hold. I mean, how long do we have to wait before Dyer are fully ready to go? 70 seconds is the longest cooldown. And then you've got everything. The pull really up. Do something about that. Max rank chaotic tower. offering as well. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. And look at Draken. He's has actually nearly got refresher orbs. Can you imagine <laughs> refresher as well? 2.8 <laughs> second stun, four golems. It's just ugh. You got no hope then. I wonder if he'll get summons a golem on death at 20 and then he'll be fine. I don't think he's going to die though, to be fair. Well, maybe just throw himself in for the cause and then get just to get the golem. True. Use blood, the old bloodstone, which instantly killed yourself. Oh my god, that was tilting. It and was You just had to kill a, like a storm. You're like, yes. Deny. He just or Tinker or Denies yeah. and then he respawns in about 10 seconds because of the old bloodstone. Oh, we're going on Drekken. I don't know if we have the damage. About half. No, nope, we're going to have to go back. Ollie's here. He's running in. Uses the Sheevers. I think Beep's in trouble. Lots of Glimmer Capes keeping everyone alive. Oh, we just gobbled oh. him straight up. Nice, Arena. It actually gets Juju, but Juju's in BKB. Ollie's in trouble. I think Ollie's fine, though. He's got a lot of health. Going to use himself to keep him alive. Out comes the Mortimus Kisses. Tim's pretty tanky. They're still trying to kill Ollie. Brex gets the stun. Oh, Juju goes in. He immediately finds a kill. But it's not enough. In fact, Ollie is going to die. Ollie dies to neutrals. Neutral. What on earth? How? What? Uh, Ancients, I think. It was pink. Dominating. Oh, nice. Brex, he's pretty strong now. Finds a stun with the bash. So, okay, they do lose Ollie, but they manage to wipe everyone else. Three buybacks have to come out. That is a lot of gold. But the Radiant have now lost for that. Three buybacks worth of gold. I mean, we still uh, got Aegis on Brex. Yes, we lost Ollie, which is unfortunate, but three buybacks to defend their base? Yeah. That is not good. I mean, now look at the net worth. Ollie is, even though he's dead, Ollie is clearly ahead. And next is Brex. Brex is finally second on the net worth. Took him some time to get there, but now he is there. I think it was maybe too many buybacks. Oh, this is a buyback on the task. Okay, missed the spear. Debate Mel's invis. So he's going to get away. Woo. I mean, good, because he bought back. What did Brex get? Uh, level 20. He went for Blur Evasion. I mean, that's pretty clever, right? Because he, now he's got 85% evasion. Which is just an unfair amount of evasion. And Sven doesn't have MKB. So how, Sven basically can't do any damage to Phantom Assassin now. Almost none whatsoever. I mean, that's a great purchase. I mean, great talent choice. Sven still has to buy talents. Yeah, that would be different. This should make my life easier. Bounty. What's Tim going? Tim has enough money for his BKB. I want to see the refresher on um, on Draken. How close is he to it? Always oh, already recipe left. 
He's Wait, close. Has he got enough for it? No, not quite. Oh, soon, soon, soon. Very soon. He's very, very close. What's his level 20 talent? Uh, nothing that helps the golem. Only level 25 do your golems get better. It's a really strange leftover from the patch where they nerfed all the talents by 20%. Remember where they the golem goes from 100... It used to be spell immune. I think... Noodles. Noodles is in trouble, but he does have blink. No, oh my god, he even pops the BKB. So instantly goes down. BKB popped by Brex. That's clever. Veteran waits for the glimmer, okay? So it doesn't get dispelled. And now Sven is just running around. They all get out. Killing Noodles is really big. Okay, but they might lose Drekken. Does he have Golem on death? Yes, he does. He does drop a Golem. Out comes the Spit. Gobble up onto Brex. Brex kills the Wisp. Nice Arena. Mortimer's kisses. It's just the slaughter yet again. So, Drekken didn't get to pop either of his Golems, but he still summons a Golem. Yeah. And that was Sven brought back earlier. Doesn't have buyback. Oh, true. And he's dead for a very long time. Same with Lich. I think this may be game. Buyback from Warlock. I mean, look, Drekken is TPing. He's like, well, I've got both my golems. I want to get there as quickly as possible. So I can drop my golem. Where's Brex at? Yeah, Brex is here. Right, hit the tower. Still got his Aegis. It's about to time out. He needs the mana regen, so whatever. Aegis is gone. And now Ollie's here with the Exorcism. It's max rank. It's a shame he didn't hit level 25 for the more spirits or the haste. But yeah, I think this will be it. I think this will be game. Yeah. I think he's ghost like little fishes. That's what it looks uh, like. It's fish. They are. That's, that's, that's really weird. It's got like an aquarium swimming around him. Radiance middle barracks have fallen, and I don't mean on hard times. Yeah, I think this is it. Oh, there's only one rack left, and it's in the top. You don't have existence for it, but it is completely exposed. Sven is still there for 25 seconds. Do the Radiant want to go in? I'm not sure they can too much even if they do go in. Nah. Oh, goodbye, oh. Noodles. Abyssal Blades. Out comes the arena. He does manage to get the BKB. Spear misses. Out comes the Lich Shot. Is it going to do enough? How is Beep still alive? Out comes the ult from Quap. The Lich Hole is still bouncing around, but there's way too much for it to bounce to. We've dropped the Golem as well. And everyone is dead, and GG is called. And there it is. GG, 38 minutes. Sven loses. Sven does lose. Oh, they've, they've cancelled the GG call to go in for a final fight. Do you just try what you can to do to survive? Very strong fight. But he's going to board on. Never mind, the GG isn't cancelled in the end. It just took a very long time. And there it is. The net worth was almost like halfway, like 5-5. Five, five. Split. Almost. Have a look. 25 and then 52, so it's literally flipped. It is, yeah, in terms of the numbers anyway. Let's have a look at the hero damage. Sven and Queen of Pain doing a lot on the Radiant, but look at the damage coming up from the Dire. Almost every hero is between... Every hero is between 23k and 28k, so it's almost a perfect split. Just such fantastic team fight from their team. I really liked it. Gobble up, send someone in. Mortimus Kisses, doing a lot of damage from the Snapfire. The Warlock did tons of damage with his Golems. Fatal Bond, so you have three heroes with 12 kills, which is incredible. Ollie did very well mid lane. He was against the matchup, which I think is quite difficult, playing against Queen of Pain. Still managed to win that lane. And uh, Brex, he had a rough start. But he managed to find a bit of space and turned up with Desolator, BKB, and Abyssal Blade. Still managed to, to do what he needed to do. So, fantastic play from the Dire. As you can see, the Radiant Heroes killed. Apart from Tim, everyone got a kill on every hero. <laughs> it's almost like a full house. Come on, Tim. Let yeah, if that. only Tim could get those two kills, <laughs> then it would have been everyone killed every hero. I like that. Yeah, really good game. I mean, if you look at the net worth. Up to 30 minutes, it was pretty much exactly even. Then it was at the end when the Dyer just continually won the fights. It was very, very close up to that point. Win probability started very, very close then. As you can see, Dyer had a pretty good advantage. Radiant fought back a bit, but it was just a 